Hi, I'm Debbie from Simply Special Crafts. Today we're going to do a really fun, quick and easy project that you are going to love. We're going to use these Design It drawers from Karen Foster Design and we're going to create a decorated box that you can use for so many different purposes. You can use this in the nursery. Imagine putting all the little things that you need in the nursery in there. You've got your pins, you've got your binkies, you've got, you know, powders and ointments and all those little things that you want to have right at hand near your changing table. You can put those in it. You could use this in the kitchen. I know that we love to get a lot of our spices from a a uh, distributor called Pensies, and a lot of the spices we get are in these little tiny jars that kind of get lost in our spice cupboard. What a fun way this would be to be able to store all those little jars uh, on the counter if you chose to do that. Um, I think this would also be great for glitters, for embossing powders, for breads and eyelets and all those little vials and, and pieces that we have in our scrapping areas or card making areas. This would be great for the guys in the garage looking for a Father's Day project that would be easy to do with your kids. This would be a perfect one for all those little nuts and bolts and screws and nails um, and let the kids give this to dad for Father's Day. So there's just a multitude of things you can do. You can see what I did with mine here. I turned it into a tea station for our classroom. So I labeled my drawers with all of the, the titles of the tea and whether or not they're caffeinated, then save two drawers out for regular and artificial sweeteners. Because I think this is just going to look fabulous on our, on, our, uh, on our table with our coffee pot and you know, just have all the tea flavors available. So I'm really excited about this project. I think you're going to like it too. I'm offering this in two different versions. In one version, you're going to get the Design It drawers, um, uh, the base piece that we'll be using, and one of them will be in the same colors that I've done my, my coffee and tea station. You're going to get nine, if with this version, you'll get nine sheets of uh, patterned paper, also from Karen Foster Design. and. You're going to get five in blues with brown and four in browns with blue. That's going to be just way more paper than you need to decorate your box, but this way you can make some choices in how you want to use your paper. So um, we'll take a look at, at those. And our second choice is going to be a floral choice. And I'm making this one for the first time on camera today. I want to have one of these for my crafting area. So we're going to use this beautiful paper from uh, Crafter's Companion. I do not have these papers available for sale, but I have a nice personal stash of them. So I'm going to break those up and, and create the kits using some of these papers. Now, the nice thing about these is that not only are they beautiful and they're heavy, nice, beautiful crafting weight, all of these papers are double sided. So I'll show you one side, then we'll come back and I'll show you the other. But look how beautiful these papers are and what fun they're going to be to, well, my phone's busy, uh, what fun they're going to be to use on your boxes. So we have these four and then your choices also include the patterns on the back. Some of them are writing, some of them are a little bit, you know, kind of a damask pattern there. This one has more floral images on the back. This one has a little bit of a pink and tea stain look to it. So you get a total of eight choices on four sheets of 12 by 12. So those are your two choices in kits. This one will be called floral and this one will be called mocha. But you can make those choices. And of course, if you choose to do so, you could always use your own papers and just use the Design It box. So you can use the papers for something else. But I wanted to explain what you're going to get in each kit. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at what your kit will include. It will include nine of these little boxes and the base. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out about this is that these are really beautifully made. This is very heavy chipboard. It almost feels like wood. It's not wood. It is a chipboard product. But the chipboard is very, very nicely wrapped with this white paper. And it's very, very durable. 
the drawers, the same thing, the same materials used in the, in the boxes. So you can see these are like an eighth of an inch thick. These are really, really nice heavy duty boxes. You can see that the box is actually three and a half by three and a half by three and a half. So you've got these little cube boxes. And then you see this little slit here? This little slit has been pre-prepared for you to make it easy to put on the hardware that has also been included in the kit. So we've got these wonderful brads. And then you've got a little, um, a little piece to help secure that from the back. So we've got really, it's really a nicely crafted box. Now, these are supplied in white. That's the only color they come in. I think, well, I'm going to use the white because I found it fun and easy to cut my papers to three and a quarter inch square and then just center them on my boxes to create that nice white outline. I've done the same thing on my side panels. I've just allowed an edge on my side panels to give me that nice border all the way around. It makes it really quick and easy to do this. I'm going to use for mine, I'm going to use my Xyron machine. I happen to have a Xyron 500, but this is a perfect project for use with your Xyron machine if you have one. If you don't have one, we have them available in the store. Or of course, you can actually use glue to, or tape to put these papers on. The thing I enjoyed about doing it with the Xyron machine is that I get an all over coating of, of adhesive on the back. So those papers are on there forever. And uh, this was really a quick and easy way to do this too. So We'll be using our Zyron machine. Now, as I indicated, I'm going to use the floral papers today. Just to save a little time on camera, I've gone ahead and I've cut some of the papers in three and a quarter inch strips so that I could um, go ahead and get my, my patterns cut offline. I do recommend that you take a look at what you might want to use for the sides and the top and the bottom of your box and leave those areas kind of untouched so that you can you can have plenty to use for your your sides and your bottom i will say that because some of these are very universal patterns that you should have just plenty of options available for how to cover the sides and the back but I'm going to, um, I've gone ahead and I've cut some three and a quarter inch strips. I wanted lots of floral design on mine. And what I kind of wanted to do, and let me just show you some of the squares I've cut. What I wanted to do with mine was I wanted to have some real full floral patterns. And then I wanted to intersperse that with some floral patterns that were not quite as busy. So I've cut some real big pieces, you know, some, some large flowers. I kind of aimed for those. And then I've cut some that are a little bit more open in design. You can see that there. So I can kind of arrange what I want to do with these in advance of actually starting to put my images down on my paper. So I'm going to kind of spread these out a little bit. And as you can see, I have four images that are a little bit busier, for lack of a better term. And I have five images cut that are a little bit more open. And I've cut ten, so I just need to make my choice of how I want to use these here. I think, and I'm going to also decide what order I want to put them in. Now some of these papers are actually pointed down in the in the paper patterns that I've given you. And some of them are actually pointed up. You, The nice thing is we're using a, a, a little three and a quarter inch block, so I can really use it any way I want to. And I think I'm going to go with that. I think I like that a lot. So I'm going to go with that. I really like this one with the writing on it, but I like this open one too. So I think this is what I'm going to do for my design for my 
for my um, box faces. So I've opened up my kit already. I'm just going to grab my Xyron machine and I'm going to start feeding these little things through. If you haven't used the Xyron machine before, it's really fun. All I'm doing is just feeding my items into my sticker machine. I should have done that in the order I wanted to keep them in, I guess. That would have had some make some sense now that I laid them all out. And I'm going to put three of them on my paper. I'm going to tear it off my sticker machine. And what you get with a Xyron machine, again, please forgive me if you already know all of this. A few of our people won't have used this machine. It actually turns it into a sticker so that the entire back of that piece is now covered with adhesive. There's no sticky on the front. It's just on the back. And I'm going to start positioning these, just centering them on my box fronts. I'm going over the top of that hole, that little hole that I said that we have pre-cut for us. That's fine. I'm just going to use a little craft knife to open that up a little bit later. But right now I just want to cover my boxes. Now how quick and easy is that, guys? So one more time, I think I'll grab my next row and I'll run it through my machine. Forgive me if the camera was wiggling around a little bit down there. Brittany thought it was me that was bumping the table, but then she noticed I wasn't actually touching the table at all. It was our friend Teddy who was running around the base of the camera making sure that everyone knew he was here. He was bumping into it and bouncing off of it. And so now he's got Brittany holding him, which may have been what he had in mind all along. <laughs> Teddy is a little bit spoiled, guys. I freely admit it. Totally love that dog. We're having a good time together. He's about what now, Brittany? Seven, eight months old? He was born in May, whatever that ends yeah. up being. May. He is almost ten months old. He's had ten, well, he's had eight months of, oh, of seven months. Seven months of near constant spoiling since he's been here. So he's an indulged puppy. But he's great fun. We'll give you a shot of him before we before we leave for the day so you can see what he looks like now because he's growing up, oh boy. Okay, my last one's through my sticker maker. Look how easy, fast and easy this is. Can you imagine a project that's any faster than this one? <laughs> Especially when you use the sticker maker. These sticker makers are not terribly expensive. As I said, we have them in the store, and uh, the refill cartridges are readily available and are also not terribly expensive. So if you haven't used a Xyron before, I encourage you to give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. Most of what we've done online in the past has just been card making, and while I love my supplies that I normally use, I, I wouldn't usually think of using as I run for card making, but you certainly could, especially when it comes to making stickers, your own stickers for things. There we go. All of our boxes are labeled and pretty, and oh, I love that. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take a minute off camera here and I'm going to select the pieces that I'm going to use for my side panel. So we'll be right back. I have decided. You know, the toughest part of using um, double-sided paper, and I know you've experienced this too, is you never want to cut up what's on the other side. <laughs> 
what I've decided to do here, I started with this one and I love this and I think having this really neutral pattern would be really pretty on the sides, but I just couldn't make myself give that up. So I'm going to put I'm going to put tall patterns, floral patterns on both sides, and I'm going to put the damask pattern on the top. That's what I've decided to do. So I'm going to, this, this panel, by the way, is three and a quarter inches wide by ten and three quarters inches long, and it's a perfect fit. So there's your dimensions for your side panels. I'm going to use my sticker maker, even with this long one. I'm just going to wind it right through. And I'm going to have one really big sticker. I'm going to peel this off with my backing sheet. And I'm going to load this right onto my box. Sorry if I'm pulling it out of camera range. i got to see what I'm doing here. This is a long stretch through there. I wanted to make sure I got my margin straight. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Next, I'm going to cut myself another piece out of this paper with a damask on the back. And I'm going to cut this one to three and a quarter by ten and three quarters. I think I'm going to leave myself a little bit more open. I'm going to take the last part off the bottom. Ten and three quarters, because I want a little bit more neutral pattern to show. And I'm going to put this one on this side. And you can see there's kind of some little ripples in the white where these shelves are joined. But once you put your covering paper on, you don't see that at all. Run it through my sticker maker. The Zyron sticky is slightly adjustable, just a little bit adjustable right at first, and then it just sticks down hard. So get it where you want it. And now I still have a nice strip of this. So I think I'm going to put my damask pattern on the top. I'm going to do three and a quarter. Oops, let's get that straight, Deborah. Three and a quarter by ten and three quarters. Run it through my sticker maker. position this right where I want it. Not quite as fit as I would like. See what I mean? That it's slightly repositionable for a short time before the glue really sets. Nope, still. the door there. Okay, so I finished putting my label paper on the top, or my sticker on the top. Now I'm going to, I'm going to cut in that little slit. I'm just kind of guesstimating where that is. 
poking my blade through. There we go. There we go. I just poke my blade through where that little slit is in there. I'm going to feed these really nice handles through with the bread feet going through the box. Which is always harder when someone's watching. <laughs> okay. And then you got the little washer. I'm going to put the little washer on here before I open the the legs of the bread. There's Alexa giving us her two cents worth on our project. And I'm going to, can you see in what I'm doing here? And then because these are breads, I'm just going to take the little pieces of metal that go through. I'm going to spread those two out and I'm going to push it firmly against the front of my box. So this is what I have. And look how well that looks with our little handle on there now. Cute. I'm going to stick it in here. I'm going to do my next one. Do the same thing. I'm kind of finding approximately where that slit is. Oh, I guessed it right on that time. Feed my brand through. Add the washer. And put my little pieces of metal going both directions. The boxes, as you can see, fit nice and firmly in the station. And even sound solid when you close it. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera for a minute, put the rest of my handles on, because you don't need to watch me do all of these. We'll be right back. Here it is, guys, our finished box. How was that for quick and easy? But how beautiful, huh? We got our... So whether you use the floral kit, which I dearly love, I'm using this near my scrapbooking center because I think this is going to be a, just a nifty place to put my glitters and powders. That's going to be great. And this one, which I've already labeled for my tea station, this would be a great um, design for the guys if you decided to take me up on that doing Father's Day gifts. I think this would be a really fun one for the garage or I liked it for my coffee and tea station because I kind of like the dark brown and the and the blue together. And, it goes well over on my counter under my crafty friend signs. So I'm really, really happy with these. I hope that you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Debbie from Simply Special Crafts. If you enjoy these videos and want to see more of them, please give me the thumbs up. That's my attaboy for um, thinking that, that we did a good job. If you um, are interested in this kit, I'm going to put a link to the kit below this in the comments below this newsletter so that you can just link out and grab that um, from Debbie and Brittany at Simply Special. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.